hat nicht der Mensch das totale Recht der besten Regierungsform, aller besten Regierungsform? Das ist die Diktatur der Kunst. In der Diktatur der Kunst gibt es das Schlechteste überhaupt nicht. If, if you televised it, it actually would be a, a good image in, in a way, because it's yeah. a, a bit like somebody reading the news, except behind him is all these volumes of um, Denuncio's poetry with various stuffed animals that oh. Jonathan had placed on the shelves. And then, of course, this, this, this charged atmosphere outside. So it, felt it, it, it worked as a sort of, as a visual thing, but I think the, the important, it, but curiously, very interesting that it was uh, totally about the speech. It was about Gabriele D'Annunzio. He lived in the Vittoriale in his last years. And he invented something which I would call a preform of the dictatorship of art, which is what, what uh, Jonathan Mies' art is about. It's about the dictatorship of art. D'Annunzio invented all these propaganda forms that we later knew from, from Hitler and Mussolini, for example. He invented all these forms under different condition than Hitler. He was not a fascist. That's very important. He was, he was someone acting on a stage. And he made one of the first radio propaganda performances with Marconi, the guy who invented radio. Yeah? And that was, our idea was to, to re reenact such a radio performance. The fact that um, Jonathan Mieser decided to use radio this time, I think, is interesting because there is a notion of the radio being a hot medium as opposed to television, for example, which is a cold medium. And one of McLuhan's ideas was that um, Hitler was much more a product of radio, that sort of intensity you get of those voices. So there is an interesting issue around the media itself and different kinds of media. It's harder to do the kinds of intense presentations that um, led from D'Annunzio through to Mussolini and Hitler through the television than it is through something as immediate as the radio. So oh. that's an interesting choice, I think. He sort of acts like a sort of innocent within this mediation, the way that Hitler wanted to appear, you know, natural with his dogs and the young women and so forth. So Hitler was not a professional mm -hmm. what, what, in, in media, mm -hmm. but he, he was the actor and Hoffman was a photographer. And right. the, you have the same combination with, with Jonathan and his photographer. Jonathan is not a professional in media. So we bring it to him. You know, we, we, we are looking for the, the best propaganda machines exactly. or media we can get for the purposes of the dictatorship of art. That's what it is about. I mean, perhaps one of the things that's closer to the dictatorship of art than anything else that we've got at the moment is probably YouTube. Okay, good point. It could be that, that uh, you, you should get rid of the reality and you should live in, in images, yeah. for example, or in the media, or in, uh, in a, a total form of propaganda, for example. I think, um, I think Jonathan's work seems to be quite significant because of his admittance, for want of a, for want of a better word, of, of that's perhaps where meaningful art gets done now. Oh, das ist ein Riesenfurz! Oh, mein Ich kommt raus aus dem Arsch! Ja, hier im Vittoriale! Oh, pff, oh ist das ein Furz! Aber ich fühle mich befreit! Ja, die Kunst macht frei! Die macht so frei, das gibt's gar nicht! Jetzt, 